Good morning. My name is Marcus Conti, and I am an investigative journalist and a reporter here on YouTube. I'm a lot of other things, too, but for now, that's what I am. So I want to, uh, I want to address some of this. this is, everybody says, it, oh, this is going to be a quick video. <laughs> I don't know. It could be 20 minutes. But, but the, what I want to address is, the, uh, is, is your commentary on, on these threads, which is amazing, amazing. See, I got drawn into uh, into the YouTube community because I thought that there was this this real sense of a of a crowd source where people actually contributed, where 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 someone a commentator a talking head like I am I'm your talking head right now I'm just a head talking in front of you right on YouTube and then based on that talking that people would comment and then whatever the issue is that we would as a community as a as a genuine crowdsourcing community, we would move forward with with uh, uh, evidence and information and and details that surround that issue, and then we would all move the the ball forward as a team. Okay, so I'm the quarterback. The talking head is the quarterback. So I believe in that system, but I don't really see a place where that happens. So that's what I just want to let you know that that's what what uh, what I'm trying to offer in these videos right all of the all the statistics that you're seeing just for the record all the statistics in terms of my videos are organic right so there's I mean there's only 1500 of us participating here right and the, the comments are a hundred you know a simple a simple video of you know maybe a thousand thousand views gets a hundred comments right with 1500 subscribers that's that's real Right? And there's a lot of commentators on there. They have 50,000, 75,000 subscribers, but they don't have nearly that much participation, which, of course, is, I'm not going to say exactly, I'm not going to call them fake subscribes, but there are companies out there that will, that will, will, will do subscriptions for you for a fee, for $10, $5, Fiverr being one of them. So, these pay-for-play sorts of things are, you know, they, those are, that's what I was talking about yesterday, where people try to gimmick, uh, you know, gimmick their, their message. So let me, so this is not gimmicked in any fashion, right? It's real. It's true. None of your comments will ever be censored unless I, I make them, I accidentally, see that I've, I've accidentally, uh, or you make a death threat. I'm going to delete that and I'm going to report you. But if, if, if there's a um, there's a, there's there's a checkbox, approve this comment, and then there's a trash box, and they're right next to each other. So if you do it on a cell phone and you try to approve it and you accidentally delete it, it's gone forever. So I have made I have accidentally deleted um, messages, but you have to also go ask yourself why are you in the spam box? <laughs> because you do that to everybody, right? All right? So this is uncensored. This is the wild west. This is real because I'm reading your comments and it's it's affecting it's 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 navigating me, all right, in in many respects. Now, Jenny Moore, right? This this issue, people are saying that, oh, Conti, you're an opportunist, it's clickbait. No, it's not fucking clickbait. It's interesting to people. That's the that's the the job of the the journalist, right? If I put something out about about the lunatic left and 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 progressive politics nobody gives a shit about it there's no there's no interest in the subject so why do i keep talking about something that nobody's interested in that's stupid that's that's unintuitive that's not giving people what they want that's not following the story but when but but the the the, the case of jenny moore is very interesting because of the players that surround her of the nature of the work she was doing, and and just as a as a as a point, right? I'll put this out there to the to the family, right? If you if there's there's comments down below that saying that the that somehow Jen Moore's family is 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 now aware of of the work that I'm doing to stir up the pot and find out the truth is somehow uh, denigrating to them. I don't know if it's true because no one has ever contacted me. Okay, if you want my email. It's, I'm easy to find, you know, I'm not, I don't hide. I come right through the front door at you. I always will. But if, if, if the family is, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. So, you know, if the family is, is genuinely uh, disturbed 
by the 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 the, the mechanism, the, the the way I go about finding out the truth, then you should take a hard look at yourself. And and uh, I'm I'm out for the truth. I'm out, you know, just for the for the good of the story. If this, and the other thing is, sadly, uh, is that Jen Moore is a public figure. So. If you if you decide that you think that the right way to go is you're gonna go and try to sue Conti, I'm not hard to find. All my information is down below, and I'm not I'm no rookie in in the court scene, right? So, you know, just just a just a fair warning. That's not the way to go. All right, all right. If you if you reach out to me in a in a in a gentle gentlemanly womanly like fashion and make your case, I I will listen to it. But I could tell you that the players. In this are very shady, and there's a lot of it raises a lot of questions, you know, about the fact that there's no we still don't see an autopsy. We don't there's no real police record there's of the event. There's people with cameras all over the place, and we still don't have a picture of of a body. There's it there's a lot of there's a lot of loose ends to a story of a reporter who is a public figure. So this notion that somehow you're gonna you know, oh, we're gonna take Conti down legally. Don't, don't, don't do that because it's you won't win. First of all, you won't, you won't. There's nothing to gain in in doing something like that. And um, because again, I, the, my, I tell you my defense. My defense will be that Jen Moore is a public figure, and that we have a constitutional right to investigate that pub and say whatever really whatever we really want about a public figure that's why anybody who comes on this site and calls me you know you know buck tooth cousin fucker or whatever the fuck you want to call me right i'm sorry i, I shouldn't be cursing on, on because this is very sensitive guys are very sensitive right but someone who comes on the site and, and comes on one of my videos and calls me every name in the book except the child of god is technically allowed to do that because I placed myself as a public figure, right? I am a public figure, for lack of a better term. So if I were to say, well, you can't say that shit about me. Well, yes, you can say that shit about me. Everything short of, a, of, of violence, that's all it is. You know, speech is speech. And I believe in that kind of speech. And that's the, one of the reasons we're seeing it all around us. We're seeing countries fold that, that they're... Freedoms are being taken away. You're next, right? You're next. We're next, right? So we got to fight back, right? So, so when you're trying to silence Conti, you're trying to silence yourself, really, right? So the comments are omnipotent. Ooh, I used the big word. The comments are very important because it really is the true crowd. It's a clash of ideas. Not everybody likes... I say, and I'm a polarizing figure. I, I get that. Right? There's no... There's no, there's no nice, nice. It's, you either love me or hate me, and I, and I get that, and I, and I understand that. It, it's, it may be by design. You, who knows? But, but the fact is that, um, you know, that that's all I wanted to say about it. The, the Gen Moore, I'm drawn. I'm not. It's not clickbait. It's that there. I see the numbers, and people are genuinely interested in knowing about that. Because it's it's we saw it with Seth Rich. We saw uh, a pub. Seth Rich is different because he wasn't necessarily a public figure in his own life. He was just an employee, and there's there's that's a different. There's a he became a public figure in his death, but Jen Moore is different. She was an investigator looking into child pedophilia and and how it relates to celebrities and and uh, Bill Clinton. So it is, it is public figure. It is fair game to flush out and investigate in a public forum. So that's where, that's where we are. And that's not, it's not, this is not, I'm, I'm not, I apologize for nothing, right? Because I know the, the players that we're dealing with. I know the types of characters that we're dealing with. And they're not playing nice and they're not going to, you know, they're liars, they're fucking cheaters, they, you know, excuse me, you know, they, they're not, um, they're not ethical people. And that's where Jen Moore ended up. Whether she was ethical or not, I don't know, because I never met her. She was just a shadow in, in, in George Webb's video, but she made her presence known as an investigator 
investigating this particular subject. So, my name is Marcus Conti, reporting.